Hey there, hi there, ho there, how are you? Welcome back. I hope you're doing good. So far, things have been pretty good on my end. Uh, so, this week, today, I wanted to give myself more time to do no matter what and really give it room to breathe, so I decided to go back to a little bit of my roots and go back to my starry-eyed chibis and do those because Sapphire K asked a while back and since they've always been in my comments and super nice and super kind, I wanted to do the rest of the crystal gems like they had asked a while ago. Sorry that took so long. I still have a lot of Steven Universe stuff planned. I mostly wanted to do this because they recently announced that the end is coming. Okay, Spongebob reference aside, uh, <laughs> I really want to do something Steven Universe. I do have a fandom speed paint done for that. I have it planned, I have it mostly drawn, I do need to do some recording and then some little stills, but I do have something specific planned for that because I have some really old art from around the beginning of the series. I don't want to get into it. I don't have them anywhere up on the web, on the webs, on the internets, but look forward to that. That's going to be coming around the end of March. I'm going to try and time it so it's either the day of the finale or the week of the finale. So I'm upset, but that's okay. So we're going to just keep on drawing. I switched to digital for this to make some key change out of these because I really wanted to make some reversible ones. I'm going to do this for also Steven. I just had a lot filmed. All of this took 20 minutes or no, not 20 minutes. This took about like two hours to do all of them, which isn't that bad. Doing it digitally did save a lot of time on coloring because the coloring does take just a while to get the right colors, but doing this completely digitally, I could skip a lot of that and I can color match a lot better. As you'll see later on, I also wanted to kind of match some of the personality traits with the original Crystal Gems and them at the end of the series, or at least at the end of Steven Universe before Future. So uh, Pearl, obviously, she's very unsure. She doesn't feel confident without rose to guide her without pink to guide her so at the end of the series she's a lot more confident she's sure of herself amethyst grew a lot but it's hard to kind of really figure out the best way to show that but i don't know in a weird way just saying it out loud uh there's a part in homestuck if you read it <laughs> there's a character called aradia and spoilers there's a part where she does a double barrel or double guns and a wink and it's after a certain thing and it's after she's done a lot of growing because she had to which ironically was because she was dead but that's fine it's fine but i guess amethyst the best way i could figure out to show her being less of an immature gem to a mature gem is also like her confidence grew a lot i didn't want it to be exactly the same as pearl but she just is sure of herself too and she loves herself and I love that about Amethyst. Of the crystal gems, like the OG crystal gems, it is Amethyst. Amethyst is my favorite. <laughs> I don't want to get too much into the series because I do have like stuff planned for the fandom thing. So, And then lastly, emotional Garnet versus unemotional Garnet because at the beginning of the series, Garnet, she showed her love in really small ways. And when she did, it was really cute, like the moments where she just like kissed Steven on the forehead or where she was just like, Steven, I love you. And it's just like, that's so cute. It was very few and far between before the season one finale, but she became more emotional and displayed her emotions a lot more as the series came on or came along. And I mean, Sapphire and Ruby are just super, super great. I love, I love them. They make me happy. And they're completely useless lesbians. And I hope you can't hear that. That's my cat. All right. <laughs> uh, what else? Let's see. I had to write this down because I'm really bad at just talking because I'll talk forever. But if you guys have any requests for things, know that I will eventually do them. Uh, so far I've fulfilled all the requests when it comes to these starry-eyed chibis. I don't really do animals. Um, I don't really do mechs because they don't translate well into the style. 
I have Spongebob planned in the future because gosh darn I still love me some Spongebob. And I also have, I think I mentioned at the beginning, but I have Steven, Spinel, The Off Colors, Lars, Sadie, uh, and The Suspects, the, um, Greg. I want to do the fusions in a similar way that I'm doing these. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of planning for those guys. And yeah, as you can see, Steven Universe is super big for me. It's my favorite cartoon. It's my favorite cartoon probably of all time. I would say it even beats Danny Phantom just because there's a lot of really important things and I think it's great that kids get to grow up with this show. And yeah. By the way, thanks for everybody who's watched and subbed because they watched my I Guess I Miss You video. That one's gotten pretty popular. People really like that one. And if you're sad after that, go check out my BFF video because I kind of... I would say that they're kind of around the same time. You could say that I Guess I Miss You takes place afterwards or even before. I don't know. But either way, it's a happier video and like there's moments of sad, but it's happy all around. It's a good ending because BFF is a really fun song and it's really cute and I would totally recommend. Hey, everybody, watch SpongeBob the Musical. Listen to the soundtrack. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> I also want to, I don't know, for whatever reason, Steven Universe and Spongebob, their music, you can flop them and flip them backwards and they work so well for Spongebob and Patrick and probably Sandy. I really want to include Sandy into all this. Man, did you know that there's not a lot of things when it comes to Spongebob and Spongebob the Musical, even though it's a show that's been around since like 1998? Like, um, hmm. I digress. I'm way off topic. We're talking about Steven Universe. Anyway. I have a lot more planned for Steven Universe, even if the show, even when the show ends. I have other things planned for just enjoying and kind of living that, that life. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I'm going to be putting some Steven Universe music in the background. All my videos are copyright claimed. It's fine. It's just I don't get paid for this, so I don't get why they other people get paid for it anyway, so it's like... <laughs> but I'll see if I can find some good music that won't be super copyrighted. It's Steven Universe, though. I don't want to say anything more because if I do, I'm gonna end up just saying everything I planned for my fandom video. So I'm gonna pause this here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I will have something up, like an announcement or something, for if you guys want to buy some of the stuff that I make. I am hopefully going to open up a shop online. I don't know. Still gotta figure that out. I would like to get paid for the stuff that I make eventually. That would be nice, right? That's not too unreasonable. Anyway, I keep on rambling. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening for the third time. be the perfect battle.
Oh, 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 oh,